Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, this is the first time I've done something like this, so bear with me. But um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about this um, sketch that I'm working on and some of the techniques I do to make drawing go faster. Uh, so this is just like a layout that I did uh, for an island scene. And basically to get the large marks, I um, went to the grid section, made a cube, basically made one of these, and I picked it up using the selection tool, made it large just as a template. And then down here, I... Um, I did the same thing. Oops. Except I just used a much smaller brush. Basically, and then I would copy and paste. And go from there. Um, so this is just the beginning stages and, and making sure, like, I'm trying to make sure that when you are on the beach and you're looking across that you don't get um, kind of just like lost in these details. And so I'm going to go in uh, with a smaller brush and just make sure that those transitions are there. Okay, so I've been working on the water on the scene. Um, and specifically just adding waves and uh, more texture, specifically on this side, this side I'm leaving pretty calm. Um, and one thing that I've started doing is um, just putting little markers in areas that I know I wanna come back to, uh, like over there, I'll probably do one over here. Okay, so I'm back. Um, this is mostly fleshed out. There's like a few transition areas I have to get. Uh, but one thing I wanted to show you guys is, you see in the distance how everything's kind of shimmering? I just figured out um, something to get rid of that. Um, so basically, I guess that's, like when you zoom in close, there's just a lot of texture. And like that kind of needs to get filled in too. And that's why this has been taking so long. Um, you see how the forms are mostly um, uh, touching in a way where it looks like a wave. And in these areas, um, I, I mean, I guess it's somewhat similar, but there's just so many gaps that from a distance, it, it's looking rough. So I'm taking just like a large uh, stroke and just hiding it under the surface. Just enough, it, and it's kind of hard on the areas that have more of a wave or that aren't even. But if you put it just right and then copy and paste it um, under some of your trouble areas, see? Okay, so I have the water about as good as I can get it with the amount of time I have. Um, and you can see, I mean, there's a little bit of um, detail area that I could add, and I might, oh, like like little areas like that. Um, but, but for now, I think it's uh, pretty cohesive. So the next step that I'm doing is um, I went into blocks and I just made some different variations of tree trunks. Um, and if, you use, uh, if you've used blocks before, you just um, open the new um, panel, import what you want. Um, now, I think it's important to import everything at the same time, just so that you can place them into scale with each other. Um, if, if you want everything to be at the same scale. Uh, so from here, I'm just gonna um, draw the fronds and then copy and paste them. And then I'm gonna place them around in different areas, in different arrangements, and then copy and paste those arrangements. 
So these are all ready to be copied and pasted. Um, and, and you can see like all these little cracks in, in areas of the beach that don't look good. I'm just going to be um, touching them up as I go. So I'm going to make little sections um, and copy and paste them all at the same time. Except just try not to make them overlap because you don't want to take a section of um, what's next to it. So I'm going to keep doing this and uh, place them around. So I, I put them all in, um, I actually didn't save my sketch and then it crashed so I had to redo all the palm trees, but same idea. I guess um, I, I, one thing I do want to do though on this drawing is um, add some clouds uh, j just like like flat color um, in the background and and this is a fast way to do it where you just take a sphere um, and you use the highlight tool to to make some shapes you have to turn the um, the light of the uh, stroke down when you do this otherwise it's just gonna be way too bright I had to turn it up a second ago And as you're doing this, you should also go uh, to the center of the sphere and just check it out. Make sure it's it's something that you want um, surrounding your drawing. So let's see. What one annoying thing about the highlight tool, or I mean the highlight. Um, brush is that when it overlaps it gets brighter which I mean you can use to your advantage but in in this situation like you don't want strokes to overlap once you have something that uh, is working for your drawing um, just select it and um, make it as big as possible just like a snow globe So let's see. Yeah, something kind of like this. So, uh, so I just want to get like a few really solid form. Uh, forms and and like make some variations of them I think if you put um, some sort of scaffolding or an armature it it gets pretty intuitive just following the forms and and that's one of the things I love about t tilt brushes is, is you can just sculpt in such a direct way So I think I'm going to skip the the rest of the cloud drawing, but in general, if you copy and paste and, and add variation, you can work pretty quickly. Um, 
And if you haven't noticed, my voice is a lot clearer. I'm just talking on a different microphone because my Rift Audio stopped working. Um, this is the finished drawing. So yeah, um, I, I hope this was, was helpful. I, I know I didn't really go over the, the basics of Tilt Brush, um, but if you have any feedback, um, let me know. I'm just here copying and pasting clouds. <laughs> Alright, bye.